Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to intertwine or link objects together in Adobe Illustrator. Now we're going to have a look at how to do this but also what's going on behind the scenes because what is happening behind the scenes might surprise you a little bit. So I have a couple of bendy lines here. I'm just going to drag this one over the top of this and I want to essentially link these together. So let me just go and line them up nicely and making sure that they line up beautifully. So to intertwine these, to have parts of this go behind the orange shape, there is a tool in Illustrator that lets you do that. So we're going to select over the objects and then we're going to the object menu here and we're going to intertwine and we're going to make. So now I can do one of two things. I can either just hover over this intersection here or I can drag the lasso around it. Obviously hovering is going to be a whole lot easier. You can see that this orange shape is now in front of this one. So I want it to go behind here. I want it to come in front here. So I want to change that. Go behind here and in front here. So let's just click away and you can see that these objects are now linked together. Now if you make a mistake that's easily undone or changed. So I'm going to select back over my shape, I'm going to object and back to intertwine and we're going to edit and here we can edit things. So we could send something the other way. So if I wanted it to actually go completely the opposite direction then I would just edit it and click on these. So now the links are all going in a different direction. So let me just grab this shape and I'm going to make a duplicate of it and let's just recolor this quickly so that we can see that we've got two definitely different shapes. So this is a duplicate of this. Let's go to the layers panel and let's just turn the blue one off for now and let's have a look at this orange one. In the orange one you'll see that we don't actually have what we might expect. We don't have linked shapes. What we've got is an intertwine object. So this is an object that Illustrator has made up for just linking these two things together. But the shapes are not themselves linked together. So you can see that they're not cut or anything. So for example, if you were doing this for stock, then you probably can't sell a stock image with an intertwine in it because it's just not something that makes sense to sell to a person. You would want to expand this. So let's go to select our intertwine object. Now there is an option here on the intertwine menu which is release. Don't be fooled by that. What the release is going to do is just undo it all. You can see it's just released everything back. So let me just undo that. What we would do if we wanted to get rid of this intertwine object here is we go to object and go to expand. Now all I want to do is to expand the object. So I'm just going to select expand object and click OK. And now here we've got a group and inside the group is a whole lot of really weird stuff. So we've got a path. Let's just turn this off for a minute. So we've got the path at the back. It's inside a group, but it doesn't have to be inside a group because it is actually just one path. So we could take it out of that group just to unconfuse things a little bit. Then we've got the orange shape. So basically what this is here is our original set of shapes. That's nothing magical there, but what it's put on top of it, what Illustrator's put on top of it, is another copy of this purple one but with gaps in it. So it's these gaps, this little compound clipping mask here, or clipping path here, that is actually, if you like, faking out the look of this shape. So it's, it's not perhaps what you might expect and you certainly don't want to break the bits out here of this clipping group. So you will end up with a group with lots and lots of different objects in it but without the intertwine. So it's going to make more sense to somebody perhaps buying your product. So this one here is the original and it's an intertwine group and it's got these two paths in it. So just be aware of what's happening in the layers panel and how you would expand it if you needed to expand it. But this is a really handy little tool to use to make things link together. So you can do it for text, you can do it for shapes, you can do it for lines. I'm using lines here. Anything will work with this tool. Very handy, but as always be aware what's going on in the layers palette, particularly if you're using this for stock or for sharing with other people. If you like carefully researched content like this, clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results, then you'll love my Skillshare content. 
I'm a Skillshare top teacher. I have hundreds of short courses on Skillshare that you can access along with thousands of other great courses, all for the price of a single subscription. If you're interested, there's a Skillshare coupon for you in the description below to use to sign up. Using this coupon benefits me as a creator and it helps me continue to make free content available here for you also on YouTube. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. On the screen now you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you. If you enjoyed the video you've just watched, I know that you're going to really enjoy the one I've picked for you to watch next.